right, so this number one welterweight contender has found his way back to a title fight. A lot of people didn't think he would get there, and he's made a career of proving that was wrong. You know, he carries a chip on his shoulder. You tell this man that he can't do something, right? He will make it a point to get that done. He said from the moment he walked out the octagon last time, he didn't win the belt, that I will be back. Benny smirked at him. Benny laughed, but his inner circle believed that it was only a matter of time before their guy got another chance, and when he got here, he was getting the job done. Now, some would argue he wasn't ready the first time around. I think that's probably a little bit too simplistic, but there's no denying he has rounded out his game. He has evolved. He's maximized the developmental time, and a lot of people believe he will have a new champion by that time. are on the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. Future might be in the UFC Hall of Fame, but he certainly didn't want to hear that noise in the fighter meeting. He's focused on the present, and that is this significant challenge against the number one contender tonight. Yeah, he's not looking down the line. This is the guy that lives in the here and now. He told us the other day, John, that he has so many more defenses to put himself alongside the great welterweight champions, Kamaru Usman and George St. Pierre. He has got a real idea of where he wants to go, and he feels like tonight is just another step in the road to great. And he's been inspired by all of those great welterweights that preceded him, Leon Edwards among them. Now it's his turn to shine on a big stage yet again. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Herbert Dean's in the building. He is the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time to find out. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Beautiful body kick. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, nice yeah. Yeah. Great take on the fence right now by the champ. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Much landed there by Breeze. It's okay. Keep Back and forth we go. Fast pace here in the early going. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Fighters separate from the clinch. Swing and a miss with that punch by Briggs. Throws the right hand there. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Separate from the clinch now. Beautiful body kick right on the elbow. Big shot to the head. Breeze is now switching his stance. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Beautiful transition. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, 
body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Two minutes now to go. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Breeze. Another good stick to the head. Circling towards the left now. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Real quick leg kick. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. All right, hammer fist here by Breeze. Hard to win MMA fights off of your back, but these strikes are useful from the bottom. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Great ground and pound by this man. Both fighters get up now. Out of range with that one. Breeze gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Man, how good is this? Back and forth we go. Straight right is there. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Leg kick lands. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. One of the most important strikes of the clinch is this big body shot. Five minutes in the books. Stop! 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 All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Great job blocking that punch. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Circling to his right. And doing work with the jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. How technical is that? Nice straight punch. Nice. He's got that single collar tie. Just over three minutes to go. Left hand is good. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah. 
over and over. He's throwing it. And he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighters used to see. Solid punch by him there. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and he's dropped his level to shoot his shot. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. He's got some hands, man. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cow tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. Ninety seconds to go. Oh, big left hook there. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. And they separate. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Oh, a huge block there. Under a minute to go. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice straight right lands. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. 20 seconds left. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. Well, Breeze is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. That one was clean. Great punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Single leg takedown is good. Excellent ground and pound strikes here by Breeze. Now he's going full mount. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Yeah. 
best. When both yeah. are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong today. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away, but that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Three minutes to go. Punch over the top. Nice boss. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good time to get that one. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Just misses with that one. Lead left by Breeze. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Good block there. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Big kick land. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. And the strike lands clean. Lands a beautiful leg kick. 20 seconds left. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, big overhand. All right, three rounds. Down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He's a bit lax in the defense, Ready. and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. We have arrived at the fourth yeah. round fight yeah. schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is... Tries to mix in a takedown here. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Pretty 
significant welt to the left side. flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. That kick lands. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one huge check about the Anderson Silva situation. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes. In this yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Under three minutes to go in round four. All right, so as advertised thus far as these fighters continue to trade strikes. Breeze's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Great block there. Look at that great work to the body. Tremendous head kick lands for this guy. Oh, slips and rips. How about that for execution? to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Spinning back fist. Breeze gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fighter is playing. Well, Breeze's strike attempt there is blocked. Clean hook there. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes. Near forest. Guillotine jump. Oh, that killing is tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He, wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, big elbow from the top. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Now he's got good body position, yup. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has sufficient options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded power. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, throw posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. Ready to fight? Ready. 
Yeah. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. All right, this should be good as our next round gets underway. We nearly had a knockout in the previous round, but the corner seems to think they have their fighter back in the game. It felt fun watching such an exciting moment, but it is a testament to this fighter in the toughness and the durability that he possesses that he's still here right now with an opportunity still to win the fight. He lands the kick to the body there. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in the... Oh! Oh, he is stunned. Jump driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to the attack. Oh, collar tie. Beautiful, straight counter. All right, so let us see who has enough left to finish this fight. I'm looking at two fighters who are on the verge of gasoline. I mean, they have done everything in their power. <laughs> oh, this could just about do it. All right, well, that swelling has essentially rendered him a one-eyed fighter, and to that end, the referee has paused the action. He calls for the ringside position. And here comes the doctor. The doctor's going to take a look at him, check out the swelling. Give him the old finger test to see if he can see his opponent in front of him and decide whether or not he can continue. All right, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue. It looks as though he will. Crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue, don't I they? I, I love it. I love it when he lets it continue, especially when you have a fight that has been as fun as this one to this point. All right, so the ref will put the action back underway after that brief health and safety check. And to no one's surprise, the fans support the decision for the action to continue. Absolutely. I mean, this official decided you can go. Even though it's... Oh! Job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get up. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, this is getting kind of hard to watch, right? He targets the cut and lands a strike right on. Strong reversal on the ground. Work, I'm standing up. Work. Great shot from the top position. And another, another strike from the top. Lands for him. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Well, at this point, I would use the word critical to describe the condition of that eye not looking good, champ. No, he's beat up. He's been battered, he's been bruised. He got cut early in the fight, and you understood that if he didn't change something, it would get much worse. He didn't change anything, and now we're here. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Well, Breeze is a bloody mess right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see this fight stop. At the very least, you got to think they're calling in the ringside position between rounds. Gets to the single collar tie. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Oh, nice jab counter for him there. Big elbow there, Lance. One minute to go in the fight. Oh, nice punch there by Breeze. Beautiful shot to the leg. Breeze going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Ooh, sidekick. Well timed there. Well, if body language is any... Oh, no! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. 
Breeze going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, well, that eye is officially disgusting right now. I don't know, man, if I'm a doctor, maybe I'm thinking about getting involved. Well, you can see him getting up out of his seat. You know, he's looking very closely at the damage on the eye. We may get him in here before the round even ends. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. Oh, oh, wow. Action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. The Ladies official decision is in. It resides round, with Bruce. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner by unanimous decision and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Asai.